Terry, here we sit on the uh, ready to open the NBA season, uh, and the Cavaliers coming off their championship, uh, and the def as defending champs, probably aren't the favorites to win the title this year. In fact, they're probably not even given much of a chance against like Golden State. Right, because Golden State lost, so they went out and got Kevin Durant. And look, if this if this were a fantasy league, right, Golden State wins. I mean, I've seen people that run these projections on Golden State. And, you know, based on throwing Durant and what they have, they win like, they, they play 82 games. I think they win 87. Right. You know, it's yeah. just like, forget, yeah. nobody else is allowed to even be on the floor. <laughs> but I'm just going to say this. It's kind of like my theme on, on Cleveland sports. Browns are excluded from this. But with the other two teams, <laughs> the Indians, it's a why not year. Right. You know, yeah. why can't the Cavaliers, with LeBron James, with a playoff tested team, win back to back? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's that's a big thing. Right. Well, you wrote the other day about uh, David Griffin um, telling you after, oh, when they were down 3-1, to one, that he felt comfortable because the team played its best when their backs were against the Right. Ball. Okay, it's a cheap, cheap plug, but it's in my book, The Comeback, you know, that, right. yeah. about that. Yeah. And that's exactly how he felt. In fact, I had a little talk with Griffin, and he said, look, the analyst guys are going to love this thing with Durant. He said, but it's not the worst thing for us right. because, yeah. you know, puts, first of all, the spotlight on Golden State because mm -hmm. the less kind of big media scrutiny, the better for the Cavs. And secondly, you know, kind of like digs into the Cavs. Yeah, you're champions. We don't think you could do it. Right. You know, LeBron loves that. And I think it's important. LeBron is the one player running around right now that knows how to win back-to-back -back titles. He did it in Miami. Right. So when I look at the Cavaliers, I got them with 59 wins. I just kind of picked the number. It would be more if they wanted to win more, but you know you're going to see all kinds of resting of guys. And then also you have now a team that understands, like Kevin Love, that there are certain games you're not going to shoot. You're just going to be out there and rebound and defend like yeah. you did in Game Seven. Right. And LeBron understands that Kyrie could help him with the scoring, so you don't have to carry such a big load. Ty Lue understands what it takes now to coach a team through the playoffs. Again, things can go wrong. It's a long way there. But I go back to the same thing we said about the Indians in the World Series. Why not the Cavaliers? <laughs>